Alrighty, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Last we left off, we had done a pretty big session and had finally checked out the full western side of the map. I mean, not like completely, there's still a few places for us to check out. But, you know, <laughs> Horizon... There's not really a lot of reason to like go over here currently, but maybe a side mission will take us over here. Well, actually, this campfire is a lot closer to this Stormbird site. I actually will need to get that at some point. At some point. Maybe. I actually don't even know if we're going to bother doing, like, the big grind for stuff. Like, I'd love to have a lot of things maxed out, but we might be at that point, you know, where I just kind of focus on the main story, and we just kind of do the main story for the rest of the game. But we'll see. It depends on if we have any main story beats like this. All like, of us said one of the diviners here might know where the Leviathan research facility is. Better go to the campfire and let her know I'm here. Yeah, we're like during this mission, it's like, oh, go back to the island and just talk to the people. It's like, all right, sure, I guess. I can do that. Let me actually, how's my ammo situation? Uh, we can make frost arrows, shock arrows, trying to, like, be relatively efficient with our crafting of arrows and other stuff. Alright. Ancestor. Yes. You with weapons still stands. Well, you don't have any orange gear, so I'm not worried about that. Um, where the hell am I going? For this diviner? Oh, I have to call Alva. I'm like, I was looking for a person. Hey, Alva, I'm in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy, I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva, what are you doing back in Landfall? And with the living ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh... Yes, I stumbled across it, but... There was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't... Trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our search was very thorough. Dude, just tell us where. Mm, you're hiding something. What? That... That is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. <laughs> Look, I get it, Nerik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan. How it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often the truth is forbidden. Come on. Well, Let's I'm go. not Quen, so it's not forbidden to me. I said to the south of here, which would be down here. Interesting. So it has to be a place that we've already kind of like floated past, potentially. Not bad with that diviner back there. We've come a long way since we first met. And Nerex, like I used to be, terrified of a misstep. 
And with the overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. <laughs> Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. As you should be. That should be the facility ahead. God, my eyes. Holy shit. Oh. We weren't in the dark that long. We need to find a way in. Search the ruins for data. Up here. Well, Amiric wasn't lying about crumbling ruins, at least. Let's look around. Yeah, we've been over here a little bit after like the tall neck stuff. Who knew it would end up being a secret research uh, facility? Aloy, why is the ground shaking? That's not good, whatever it is. Well, Whoa, that, that oh is shit! I was gonna say it's either a slither fang or a rock grinder! Hold on, we need. To mark its parts. Alright, it's a regular slither thing, right? Yeah, yeah, we can handle this. Bring it on! Uh. Uh, okay. Oh, that's so tragic! Oh, God. Please, I just want your Earth Grinders, bro. Do you have to be so agile? Oh, she's giving me plasma precision arrows. That's cute. Is it weak versus plasma? That's why. Sure, why not? Oh, wow. It's always disappointing to see how much damage Plasma actually does. Like, it feels like you could do way more. I don't know, what kind of ammo is it? I don't know where she tossed it. Oh, that's not where her Sonic Hood is. Oh, it's like deployed now! Oh, jeez. Ow, through the wall? Cheating. The hell? I thought I was grabbed. Fucking Elden Ring style. God. Well, I didn't get hurt. Well, that's a plus. Ah, that time I did. Hey, you want to play around with plasma? I got you, buddy. This is where you die. Oh, 
Well, this is not where you died because you did manage to stop me from applying the last little bit of plasma. Down it goes. Shall we go up? Whew. Well, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. We should be able to look around for that data now. That guy got lucky he didn't fucking run into this thing before. What we got here? Earth grinder? Nice, okay. Those are like the primary things that I need from this. Although I wouldn't have minded more uh, primary nerves. So this looks more like a facility or that one does. I guess we'll see. Well, this is suspicious. Might be able to kick that vent open. After you. Time for a swim. Mm, at least the water's not freezing. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like back when the old ones were here. It's less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors. <laughs> yeah, these places were properly built in the past. Just a thousand years of decay. I've left them in shambles. You okay? On every expedition. The soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers first, to protect us diviners. There. A console. Must have been what Nerik found. Ua. Let's see if it has anything on Leviathan. I cut off her dialogue. Tell me more about your past! Yeah, she's probably gonna say something to the fact that, like, now, with Aloy, she doesn't have all these protections. She's just... Climbing and venturing for herself. Oh, the data on Leviathan isn't here. But there's some kind of log. Delete the database. But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms. Over 400 dead. The data's clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Uh. Yes, ma'am. That was her, the ancestor, Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on, let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. To their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Oh boy. That's the building we couldn't climb. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. Yeah, go for it. So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quinn seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. 
Diviner spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Though, now I wonder how much of it is actually true. Oh, probably a good bit of it. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. Maybe this is it? No, this is the place. Hmm. That wasn't there before. Yeah, there's the survey drone. That... <laughs> that for sure wasn't there before. I'm... Certain. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> we were all over this wall before. I'm fucking. I feel like I'm being gaslit. But you know, it makes sense that this is like a place you can only access via a mission. Thankfully, our focus is double his climbing okay, assistance devices. Yes. Don't worry about me. I'm not. If you can't make it up here, I can continue on without you. That's how it goes. Oh God, I hear Glinthawk. Glinthawk, great. Did it see us? I don't think so, but we'll have to be careful. How are we going to get across? Oh, well, that beam looks promising. Innovation, my dear Alva. Actually, can I use mark down arrows to take these down? Fuck. That would be so useful. They're way this cheaper. Is a lot higher up than I thought. Ooh, that ladder's shaky. The element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall off the tower. You say that, but oh. We have to fight. But I can instant kill the Glinthawks. Uh, there. No more Glinthawks. I've heard our soldiers say the Glinthawks are the worst. And they're not that bad. Up this way. They're the lowest health of all the flying creatures, or all the flying machines to deal with. That had it been like a Sunwing or I was gonna say Skydrifter Stormbird. Stormbird, there you go. Stormbird. That's the troublesome uh, thing. Aloy! We're really high Hi. off the ground. And you can do it all the way here. Okay? Just don't look don't down. I don't think I can manage that. Right. <laughs> of course. Super easy. <laughs> she just gave up. All right, fine. There's the tower. Oh. Should be able to cross over. Well, she's here. But we are going to have to jump. Uh, after you! Hey, yeah, don't worry. We're trendsetters. Hey, Lloyd. I'm okay. Holy shit. I almost got smacked in the face by rubble. There's a campfire Mate. up here? Okay, Alva. Your turn. Right. That's intense. Yeah. Can you watch me and make sure I do this right? Yeah, 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 I can do that. Come on, Alva, you can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. 
You want speed, you know. Ah! Oh, the... oh, I'm okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. It looked like she didn't fucking make it at all, but goddamn. All right. You sure you're okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Let's keep going. Uh -huh. At bay. Global infrastructure. What do we got here? Mr. Hale, IT security would like to emphasize again that entering your private passcode in the passcode reminder field does not meet digital security standards. As such, your passcode has been reset. Again, please choose an appropriate reminder in the future. Imagine trying to hack. Locked. I think it needs a passcode. Someone's computer Let's and their password's around. just fucking right there on the front of it. Uh, what good is a passcode reminder if it doesn't tell me what the passcode is? The next time I'm trying to set up the conference room for a board meeting and I get locked out because I can't remember the stupid password, fingers will be pointed at you. You want an unhelpful, useless passcode reminder? Fine. At bay founding date, month and year. There, happy now, you IT security morons. <laughs> This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. So 10, 20, 23 or 10, 23? 10, 20. So the company was founded in October. Which is the 10th month of the year. I know. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. What is this? <laughs> There's just a wood table with holograms floating on it. What's generating it? Cost reduction strategy. We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omaramba, but this is worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omoramba wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's That's keep going. That's a good view. Her office must be higher up. I hear a green Dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Campfire! Woo! Your green shine. It's really amusing that there's a campfire up here. Because it gives us a way to, like, go up to one of the tallest points of this area for free. Let's see where this leads. Like, from here, I can literally just glide in any direction, basically. You go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. <laughs> the Aloy's amusement. Hey, <laughs> that works. Hey, oh. Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... Forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that too. I mean, there's many, many years that uh, could have happened in between this and the end of the world. So maybe. Whoop. That maybe Leviathan was made, worked for a few years. Uh, are you doing okay, Aloy? Yeah, it's just a long way up. 
Maybe her father died in the process. Sway! <laughs> Alright, where are we going from here? Um, uh, no, that's not the way. Ah, here we go. I just jumped straight up, I think. Nope. Ah, here we go. I missed the blue outline sitting right next to a bright blue light. I like this musical effect they've got going. I don't know how to get up higher. Wait, is that a second campfire in this building? Holy shit. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Well, that's done with. This music sounds like it should be used for a more ominous building slash setting. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. Like another underground oh, building. Fire green. The elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Okay. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! I'll be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. I was about to say, can we see Alva actually climbing her way up here? And we can. They could have just left her idling down there until later. All right, Alva's on the way. Let's see what's up here. She got the fast, hey. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts, I... I think these were Eileen's. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. They have information on them? Oh, that must be the Larson McCory Award. The legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. All right, what about this? This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. Uh, what? H2 flow. Their early inventions had strange names. <laughs> it's art, I think. Could it be? Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. All right. Um, maybe try my focus. So what does this take? Okay, it takes numbers. Oh, there's four things. That must be the Dragonfly 6. Abbe used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. All right. What was this thing again? The H2 flow. How old was Eileen when she won this award? 40. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Yeah, it's worth a try. All right, so that's 40th birth or 40th, 40 age H2 flow, 25th anniversary and six. Forty. To 25th anniversary and six. That didn't do anything. Hmm. I thought that would have worked. Did we overlook something? Focus might find something I missed. Maybe I put it in a different order? Let's see. Six, 25. 
Oops, uh, six. Two artifacts on the ground. Maybe they used to be on opposite pedestals. Uh, okay, so then maybe it's more like 40 to 6, 25. That did it! You can almost see the whole city from up here. I wouldn't have fucking guessed that. Office, view. It must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. I mean, considering how tall this building went, the fuck out of the... A fuck ton of the offices had a good view. Look at that. There's the Golden Gate Bridge. We still haven't been over there yet. There hasn't really been a reason to go over there. Besides the fact that it's the Golden Gate Bridge. Poor thing gets fucking destroyed in so much media. Well, it's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe the lie was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. All right. A change of faith. She overthrew her father. She took over the company so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Leviathan. Uh, yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay, I'll see you there. I, I wouldn't well, after climbing all the way up. Why not glide down? Yeah, Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. <laughs> she she hadn't seen us glide yet. All right. Bye, Ava. Okay. So that's cute. Can we even go? We actually might not be able to use either of the campfires. Aw, oh, man. That's sad. I would have liked to have been able to jump off this building multiple times. Just for the sake of it. Okay. Um. Let's look at my jobs here. What do I need the lobster for? Precision arrow quivers, three baskins. We can upgrade our rope cast for now. Need an Apex Stormbird heart for this. I can go do that. We'll, we'll finish our glide down just to be like, yeah, woo, woohoo! Yeah, awesome! Waha! Then I'm gonna get my ass torn up by the Stormbird. Ooh, can I make it to this other building? Oh, this is the survey building. Oh! Oh, sh oh my god. I think that's my second death to gravity in this game. I was holding square. Hi, Alf. Oh, Alf is gone. Uh, yeah, we don't need to glide down. <laughs> we can just leave. Let me go. 
It won't show me the overworld. Oh, here we go. Goodbye. Aloy didn't like making contact with the fucking building. So I couldn't I couldn't reopen my glider until like the last second, but by that point I was like spamming other buttons trying to survive. Alright, let's get my fucking ass kicked by an Apex Stormbird. Have I I don't think Oh no, I've I've fought one. Before. Where's the Apex Stormbird? Where's the Stormbird? Oh shit! He's ambushing us! Shit! We need to, uh... Swap out my orange sharp shot bow. I really need to clear my inventory. Here we go. Alright, first thing we're doing... First thing we're doing is slapping with some acid damage. And then after that, it's tear blast time. How about that miss? Don't look at me like that. God, why does it take so damn long to make this? He doesn't know what the fuck to do, it's just kind of... here. Alright, we need this. And I want to take those out... for the sake of peace. Yo, leave me alone. Don't bring a second monster into this, or a second machine. Dude, it doesn't know what it wants in life. You know how awesome it'd be? I mean, if you could blow their eyes out. That sounds gruesome, but like... You know, it's a component. Yeah, I've glitched out this Stormbird somehow. Give me my goddamn Stormbird cannon! Oh my god. Look, I'm in melee range! Melee me! Pay attention to me! I got it! No! Ah! That was the most accidental, accidental thing I could have done. Are you fixed? Uh, he's not. I'm gonna blow up. Ah! I guess I could've used the cleanse potion, but whatever. I don't know what to do about this situation. Um, I guess we just kill it.
This is so fucking bizarre. Okay. Well, at least I could swap my arrows out here. Um, or fall, this. Brace shot! This is so fucking bizarre. I'm struggling so hard to hit this component. Ah! We did it. Maybe we could like knock this guy out of That applied a lot of brace, or a lot of plasma to him. Ow! I have more exp explosions. I feel like it's about to hit me. <laughs> it was creepy. It like stared at me in its final moments. Alright. Well, I got what I got, what I came here for. The Apex Heart. And we got a Stormbird Cannon just in case. So it works out. And because he got stuck, we really didn't have to lose too much health. All things considered. So it works out. Alright. Let us... I'm actually gonna go over here first. This shelter is... One, it's a little bit closer... I feel than the other campfire. Two, it's a shelter. So if I come here during the daytime, I can make it nighttime and... Change... The Stormbird spawn, I think. Although maybe it'd be a little bit too close for comfort. I'm not sure. Oh, pelican. Yeah, nothing for me. Ah, uh, let's see if we can force this. I really don't want to go all the way around all. They put legit invisible barriers here. Look at the what the fuck. <laughs> Why? 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 What did a playtester do here to make them be this aggressive with invisible barriers? This is like one of the few places that they've ever done this. A lot of times you can just throw yourself at a cliff and they'll let you do it and you'll match one to one with what you're jumping on even if it doesn't let you climb it. What the fuck? This must be like a particularly buggy aisle or something, man, because they... This shit is... Look how many invisible barriers we're hitting. Jesus. Thank God. Alright. I'm just... I don't like having to go 100% of the way around when I don't need to. Oh. What's this? Demobilization day. 
October 10th, 2065. Hey, you beast. I'm in between VTOLs and SF, about to board for Columbus, and another round of bat, uh, bot bashing on the Eastern Line. Sitting here crammed in with what's left of my squad, and I'm just laughing. Everybody's looking at me like I've gone full PTSD, but I can't stop thinking about the face you made when we marched out of Tindo for the last time. Remember that? D-Day in 55? When we passed that pasty tech kid? Your expression said it all. We're leaving the base in the bony hands of goggles over there? Seriously? Yep. Wasn't up to us, but we did. Bye bye human army. Hello, robot legion of mass destruction. And here we are, ten years later. I won't say that I hope you're keeping safe. Knowing you, you're glad to be showing our machine replacements who's boss. I take comfort in that. And also a little in knowing that we weren't wrong. Goggle Boy and his boss suits couldn't control the machines, so it's up to us again. Give him hell, Ada. I'll do the same from here. Aww. Hey, let's refill my stuff here. So what's up with this little building? I feel like this is a... Fairly important building. But I just say that because it's a little bit... It, it, it's a sizable ruin. Uh, intimidating. The way they just stand there. Solar charging. Uh. Alright, well, let's get out of here. I need to grab the last black box and turn in the last ornament as well. So that means we need to head over hmm. I'm gonna go here, we'll go over here. I guess we could shoot an owl, maybe. Uh, crow, pigeon. Spicy when they survive. Wings holding up. So I'm wondering if these supplies for traps. Groga must have been preparing for a hunt. she's saying that towards obviously Garko's I think the old man with dementia or is it Alzheimer's yeah I didn't see what she was talking about rat feather for the bomb satchel what
<laughs> I was about to say, you know what? After all that, you deserve to get away, little owl. But he didn't make it. Ah, this one's over the ridge. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to give focuses to all of the clans out here. Now much over hunting would happen. I mean, they'd probably still be able to be reseeded by, you know, all, all the machines and stuff. But still, imagine a hunter being like, "All right, let's see. We got a we got a boar over there. A uh, we got a, a bighorn sheep over there. Actually, I need that." It's starting to rain. It's about time. All right, bighorn sheep. Need your parts. I don't even know how many. Just need them. All right, what do we got going on here? Mm. Slight puzzle, or just moving a crate? Hmm. Soldier at the Grove can complete a collection when I return. Yeah, well, uh, oh, I was supposed to go up here too. It's okay. Well, we'll grab at least this one campfire. Obviously, it ultimately didn't matter if they were able to get all on that plane. All of them were doomed anyways. But I'd like to imagine they didn't dilly-daddle. You know? When a swarm of... World-eating robots are flying your way, or making the way towards you. I imagine it's easy to get 250 people to rush into a plane in 30 minutes. All right, it's finally time to turn in. All of these resources. Is there a... Okay. So the only problem with turning in the black box is I think I actually have to give her all of the black boxes one by one. And I don't know what resources I want to keep. Well met, Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding mark. The Tika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kentuck to rest, and I thought about what he said. 
He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. Hey, glad that you were able to live your dream. With everything that's happened, I feel like I need to do more for the clan, the tribe. Okay. I'll join too then. Uh, I wasn't asking you to. This is. I know. But you and me guarding the memorial grove? Maybe even catching some fights in the arena. Come on. I guess it would be nice to have a friend there. <laughs> that settles it then. <laughs> Hey, if you're going to become a guard, I'm going to become a guard. Are you the only one listening to these voices? Oh, no. The others who captured the Osaram Delver heard the voices from these ancient warriors, too. They spread the word, and now a lot of people are talking about them. <laughs> Soldiers are interested in old battles. Well, uh... Let's trade these recordings. I've brought you more of the voices you're collecting. Another chance to learn about this lost war. All right. So we can trade in all these black boxes for specific parts. But we only get 12 chances. And obviously... Some of these, ah, oh, this is the problem. I wish there was a workbench right next to her, because you have- honor the voices here. Let me know when you're ready to part with them. Yeah. I'll let you- Okay. I can't get the reward until I actually trade all 12, which is, which is tough. Which is tough. I, I, I need to actually go look at what upgrades I need. And then I can, then I can more efficiently turn in my stuff. So let me go look at a workbench real quick. Are you the only one listening to the- Oh, no. Voices. They spread the soldiers are- All right, ma'am. I have more voices for you to preserve. You honor the fallen. Let's get these going. So first things first, we'll get, uh, oh, she only has one of these. Ah, that's awkward. What about this? Oh, wait, does that mean, hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> there was never a reason for me to check this out at all. She only has one of each resource. Shit. I was so down to, like, grab a bunch of, like, Tide Ripper tail fins, a couple of Thunderjaw parts. Oh, my God, it would have saved us so much time. Especially the frost claw sack weapon. God, getting only one per frost claw is annoying as shit. <sighs> but all right, I guess. The voices I can detect. You found them all. I was worried that the Delvers would have looted them before they could be recovered. The voices of these ancient soldiers deserve to be held in honor, not sold as entertainment. I will make sure everyone who comes to listen knows that it was you who saved them for us. From one recording to all these, now I have the chance to learn so much about this forgotten war. Thank you. It will make me a better soldier. A better Tanakh. I hope they'll make you a better human too. Alright. Now we've got the Wings of the Ten weapon. What is that? That is a Blastling. Alright, cool. It's a Blastling with... Explosive, re advanced explosive, and adhesive. This is another one of those weird choices where I feel like they should have just stuck with advanced explosive and given us a different ammo type. The legendary weapons are really lacking in that department. Like, <laughs> Garge's Bane doesn't even have a third fucking ammo type.
All right, we got that. Let's go to. Well, let's talk. Moments over later, here. The entire grove was filled with lights. Like the days of the first Tenoch. Even more. The truth of the visions was revealed to us. Then we gathered here and listened to Faraday's words. And this was the same message Chief Hikaro saw. Oh, yes. Unity against our common struggles. Peace instead of war. I wish I could have seen it. Well, maybe one day you can. Aloy, I was just telling Cavo how you revealed the visions after Regala's attack on the cool route. I've always wondered what Chief Hikaro saw and heard the day he conquered the grove. Now we know. I'm sorry you don't get to see it too. It's okay. I know a chaplain who was there. The deeds of the Ten have always inspired us in battle. Now they will guide us towards peace as well. All thanks to you, Aloy. You're welcome. She doesn't even say anything. She just kind of like stares at them and goes, Yep, it's definitely because of me. Mm, bye. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Let's go turn in our stuff at the hidden ember as well. Hey! hey! All right, all right, all right, right. Let's see what we can get. So she entered once more, our heroine whom all adore. You know, all these lanterns floating about are like a guiding light to our little oasis. Glad we left them all. Any luck finding more ornaments? All of them. Here you go. So, are you feeling festive? Take your pick. Well, let's see. Uh, we'll do Valentine's Day. This one. I'll get right to it. A lot of hearts flying around. I bet shards, this one's dedicated to the romantic arts. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, help yourself to the contents of that chest over there. For our heroine had dared the challenges of the West, recovering lights long lost, and deserved riches and rewards in kind. I'm not quite sure I live up to all that, but thanks. Thank you, Stimmer. All right. What do we get? We get Ancestor's Return, a legendary shredder. Shredder gauntlet, which is uh, not, not, not the craziest thing, but all right. It has acid electric and armor or high tear damage uh, ammo. Starts off with a 25% draw speed one. Hmm, that's not bad. Again, it might be one of those things where fully upgraded, it's actually probably pretty decent. I can imagine putting a few draw speed coils on this. Really helps out with actually like doing damage over and over and over again. Of course. But I'm a little disappointed because what I would like, I want a legendary rope caster and javelin. I guess I should be thanking you for bringing Moreland back alive. Well, if you need to resupply, my shop's open. Hey, do you have any good coils? Because I need draw coils. See, I'm so sad. Why do you have to be sold out of draw speed? I need, like, a fuck ton of these. I'll grab this. 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 
All right. I first he wants to go below the surface, then he wants to fly above it. <laughs> Is it too much to ask that we all stay here with our feet on the ground? At least long enough to enjoy the shards this place will earn us. You really want me to answer that? Funny. Just run along before Morlin gets any more ideas. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Your, your your friend, he's creative, man. He's creative. Now, let's see what uh, what's the upgrade path for the Shredder Gauntlet? Let's see. Tide Ripper parts, Frost Claw parts, Apex Stalker hearts. That's interesting. Apex Stormbird heart, Fire Claw sack weapon. Fucking three Stormbird storm cannons. Lordy. And this has one of the more disappointing legendary results. Like, fully maxed out, you like double the damage of the tear component. But, like, damage wise, it really doesn't go up that much. What really goes up is, like, the perks. But, like, 65% draw speed as a built in perk, that's pretty good. And that one happens, ooh, that's not bad. That happens within level two. Yeah, if I wasn't so sure we're like on the final stretch of the game, I'd probably actually go for this. Like grind this out just to like see what this is like. Cause you get the 65% draw speed, then you slap on another one or two draw speed coils and rather than the super fucking slow wind up that it's been the entire time you get like hopefully like basically an instantaneous toss holy shit we need to craft this holy hell but that, might, that might be the thing that makes it more exciting All right. So let me very quickly before we head back to the base, I'm gonna actually Google. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the base, but also at the same time Google. What other orange weapons might be remaining? All right. So I have Googled what legendary stuff I'm missing, and unfortunately. The only thing we're missing is a legendary javelin, which we can get via side quest that we'll be able to do in the future. It's one of the, it's the Quen mission to get the navigation parts that we can't do currently because we need to be able to fly, which will be on its way soon enough, I'm sure. But it turns out there is literally no legendary uh, rope caster. Which is a little disappointing. What do we have remaining? Just three abilities. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get these all maxed out, but we'll see. But yeah. From, uh, from a list, uh, I looked at a full list of what legendary items there were, and then I actually googled, like, legendary ropecaster. Well, what is he talking about? Play pretend on top of a table. That can apply to a lot of things. But yeah. I... There should have been a legendary ropecaster. Obviously, there's not really... terribly much more they can do. For this but they could have given us like an advanced electric coil and an advanced plasma coil so i'd actually use them a little bit more yeah i guess i'll i'll max this out because we actually we've had the supplies for this the whole time i just i've been waiting just in case there's a legendary version and they just cucked us um ripcaster it's a purple purple here we go Oh, <laughs> that's awkward. 
<laughs> I now don't have the resources because I use the resources on other stuff. Shit. That's fine. It's a very small upgrade, but we'll we'll, we'll get it eventually. Um. So yeah, we don't need to, we don't need to upgrade the the javelin. It's basically gonna get an upgrade soon enough, anyways. Uh, I guess I'll grab this pouch upgrade. Spike holster. So many, so many things need Baz parts. Holy shit. Baz bones, Baz skin. We're gonna go fishing, man. We're gonna be on the water for so long. 